The DV Flexile Headers Pack can be imported in the DV library from where you would be able to use it as a global header. So these are the available layouts that you will be able to use on your website. So let's see how we do that. First, we need to download the product file that is a zip and need to extract it or unzip it. Once we unzip it, we'll obtain this file called dvflexileheader.json. So it contains all the layout in single file that will be imported to the DV library. And uh, we will now go to the DV library and try to import it. And the site where we are going to import is this, where you could see the default DV header is present. So go to dashboard, then DV library, and then click import. At this point of time, we need to browse the file, browse the JSON file that we just obtained after extracting the zip file. Click on choose file and browse this file that is dvflexileheaders.json and click on choose for upload or click on upload on Windows depending on the setting. Now, we are going to import all the headers on our DV library. It will take a few seconds, may take a minute, depending upon the hosting configuration. So we should be all set to go. Now, as you can see here, we have a couple of headers which are now imported to the DV library and you would be able to use any of these on your website. After the import, the next step is to go to the theme builder, go to add global header, add from library, and then click on your saved layout. At this point of time, you will be able to see all the headers that imported. You could also use this category filter to display just the headers available in this pack. And um, here we go. You just need to pick one. So let's say DV Flexile header 14 and uh, it will be implemented on the side. Let's try and reload the page now. So this is our header now. Uh, we have this coming from the menu. And these are the areas where you can make your necessary changes by editing this header. If you like to try another, just repeat the process deleting after deleting the old one and uh, go to your saved layouts. And let's say you're gonna have layout number seven this time. So save it and the seventh, the number seven layout will be available for you to use. So this is one. It uses WooCommerce. So if you have WooCommerce, this is um, helpful or you could just remove it by editing the layout. And in the same manner, you'll be able to do that very quick uh, within seconds and then make your necessary changes to give it a final test. So layout number 18 is this that we're going to import now. I'm going to save it. I'm going to reload the page. And here we go. So this is how it works. These are the custom links that you could modify from this area and um, get a desired result as per your preference. As you can see here, uh, we have included some CSS code. Uh, we have account, wishlist, card, a lot of things here and the menu, social media icons and you'll be able to modify each of these depending upon your site setting and uh, get the new header up and running. So that was how you could use the DV Flexile headers pack and if you need any assistance in importing the layout or if you have come across a situation we have where you have some issue with it, feel free to contact our support team and we'll be happy to assist you. And thank you for using our products.